another one. So this video will be an upgrade of the Dell XPS 15. Um, yeah, this is the 9550, so the 2016 model. Now this one, this laptop is pretty good, um, but there's no there's hardly any storage in this one. 256 gigabytes, not enough. So I have one terabyte NVMe drive, a WD Black. Um, yeah, I think I have an obsession. So I have one of those, and also the Wi-Fi card is completely screwed. So I will be, I'll be using one of these, which is a killer Wi-Fi card. Now everyone hates these. Everyone says they're garbage, but it's better than what's in there, which um, in this room, which I get about you know, four out of five bars of Wi-Fi. This one gets like one or two. It's god awful. So yeah, that's, I'm putting this one in for now. I'll probably upgrade the Wi-Fi card again at some point. Last time I did an upgrade on this, it was terrible because I ordered a battery and it was the wrong battery. Compare both batteries, you can see they're quite clearly in different spots. So let's just get into this. Let's move this out of the way. So how do we get into the Dell XPS 15? So need our trusty screwdriver. So there's a bunch of screws. So let's let's do this. Place our screws at the side here. Now the Dell XPS 15 is known for throttling. Um, so at some point I'll have a video on how to how to stop it from from throttling. So the problem with it is that around this area here. Um, you have VRMs which handle all power management on the computer but they're not actively cooled so as soon as you do anything you know anything on the computer at all whether that be um, you know, video editing whether that be um, you know, even heavy web browsing uh, it throttles so you go from about 3.2 which is the maximum turbo speed was well, maximum turbo speed is 3.5. Um, it goes to about 3.2, immediately throttles, and goes down to 800 megahertz and sits there for the remainder of what you're trying to do. Which, um, as you can probably imagine, is not ideal if you're trying to do video editing. 800 megahertz is about unusable. So unless you're basically using it for Word documents, then it's usable. Now, what you can do is you can get about a one, 135, um, yeah, about minus one, three, a 135 millivolt underclock on the chip, um, which improves it a tiny bit. If you then um, stop Turbo Boost from trying to aim for 3.5 and instead aim for something like you know, 3, even though it's slower on the whole as your maximum number your overall number, your average is higher. Almost there. There's also, they also did a BIOS where they removed the ability through the Intel tool to, oh, there's my watch, there's my watch going off, telling me to move. The Intel tool um, decided to stop it, stop it from letting you uh, underclock, so yeah. I have to use a third party tool. So first things first, let's do the Wi-Fi card. So take off this little bracket. That just pops out. Now I have obviously this this cable here that doesn't do anything. I always wondered about that, I don't think it does anything. So this is a DW1820, which is god all. This is the original this is the original killer Wi-Fi that was in here. There we are. That's that's done. So this one can just be placed on the top there. So this bracket just holds down those antennas. So there we are. Then it's just one screw. One screw here and that just pops right out. So that's a 250, 256 gigabyte drive. So this can be put in like a USB drive. You need to buy a specific um, 
adapter for this because this is an NVMe drive. One of these, so let's just unbox this with the trusty, trusty tweezers. The unboxing probably isn't much to much to rave about. And that's about it. That's your box. That's your manual. That's the actual chip. That's all your manuals. And that's the chip itself. There we are, one of those. That's quite nice actually. This hopefully this hopefully will be pretty fast. Um, usually, this hopefully will be pretty fast. Um, won't know until I until I actually use it. But it's NVMe. Can't go that wrong. There we are, and that's that. So future upgrade is to do the RAM as well. So I have 24 gigabytes, 8 and 16. Um, so I want to upgrade that. Wi-Fi card again, do that again, but with a better one. Uh, the battery's already been done, so we're pretty we're pretty much close to having the ultimate 9550 um, Dell XPS. Now you'll see, you see as I was saying about the thermal pads, you can see I've placed, I've placed some thermal pads on there, but they don't, they don't really do that much. It is the... It is the undervolt that does most of the most of the improvement in terms of like temperatures and throttle, the throttling. So let's just do the screws. I'm gonna skip past that. Okay, that's my boot drive. Um, and that the XPS can actually charge from USB-C. So if I just do that. And now we do Windows setup. Hopefully this is the Windows 10 setup. 2019, that's correct. So now we install that. Hopefully it's a thumbs up. There we are. That means it's done. That means it's worked. So like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff. Uh, I know it wasn't the most complex video. Next one next video is hopefully the video on how to stop this from thermal throttling so we just select one terabyte and just go so next video is about how to stop this from thermal throttling or power throttling um, so yeah tune in next time it's worked <laughs>